All right, so I know y'all been waiting on a video like this. I'm not going to show y'all the process of me making it, but I'll show y'all how I made it, like the dimensions of all this, and I'm going to just go into detail and explain what this is or whatever, but it ain't hard. If you want to make one, all you need is some grid paper and some super glue and an exacto knife and a ruler. You don't need a ruler, but it'll help. So, yeah. So what I like to start off with is my piston and my crankshaft. So this little piece right here is my crankshaft and my piston. The piston inside the cylinder right now is all the way up. But yeah, I like to start off with these pieces right here. This go on one side, this go on the other side. This the connecting rod. This the piece that go like under the piston that holds the um it holds the top of this in place like it's a little thing that go through these two holes like you fold right here and it comes out to be like a little like a shape like that and then that little piece go like through that and the connecting rod like you know what i'm saying go like that which is that piece this right here this is the side view of the piston like it'll usually look like this from the top but this is from the side so i make it two two blocks high you can use you can use about the same diameter as this or something around this diameter, but I don't really have an exact diameter I use or bore or whatever you want to call it. This like the top of the piston. You make you a little circle, glue that on the top of this. You glue like right here, fold, fold, put a little piece of paper through this hole right here and this hole right here. Like I said, it's gonna look like that and that, yeah. And then these two pieces right here. Uh, how would I explain it? It'll look like this. Like these are the two pieces, but they like facing a different direction. Like if you turn this and made it flat, a flat view, it look like this. And then that little other hole, it'll be like this. So, and then the connector rod will be on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if y'all understand that, but yeah, it's something like that. So now this right here is a crucial part. Once you get this piece done, like once you get like the piston moving up and down, which is the crankshaft or whatever, now you got to control the airflow. So when the air go in, that's when the piston going down. And when the piston coming back up, the air coming out. And I use the top hole right here. It's my exhaust. I use this one right here. It's my intake. So you can blow into there and it comes out right there. And this piece right here, it moves up and down from this one to this one. That's all you see. Like that little piece that goes up and down. That's all you see. It's just going from there to there over and over and over again. Like that's all they do. This is the back of this. So if this is here or here, the air is going to the same place, to and from the same place. This the piece that holds this piece. Like it turns on the crankshaft. So you know what I'm saying? And it holds this and this piece connects to this piece and this piece right here connects to the bottom. So while this spinning, this moves up and down, which is moving this up and down. And yeah, you only make this you know what I'm saying? One times three. You can make it how thick you want. It don't matter. This right here is seven. Put a hole right there and put a hole right there. Simple. This right here is five times three. You can make it thick as you want to. Five times three. So y'all probably kind of confused a little bit, but I'm going to try to show these parts on here so as you can see the piece that moves up and down that's controlling the airflow is going up and down just the intake oh, let me try to show y'all on the inside this how it looks down that's the intake up that's the exhaust down intake exhaust intake exhaust and that's all it does it, it just does that over and over and that's what this piece is so that's the front of it right there the middle piece that's the piece that moves up and down right there 
and that's the back of it so if you want to make this piece all you got to make is these pieces right here you know what i'm saying make it how thick you want to you know what i'm saying but yeah that's how it works let me try to show y'all one more time on how like the piston and crankshaft work so the piston on the inside you can't really see in there like that you can kind of see a little bit but not that not that much so basically that's these parts right here and all it's doing is just going up and down that little piece right there is that piece right there and that piece right there is that piece right there this that's moving up and down is that piece right there this piece right here with the intake and exhaust on it is this piece right here this piece is on the back side of that connecting to you know what I'm saying the little thing right there connect to the top of the head you know what I'm saying it works like this I mean that's really all that's to it it ain't it ain't really hard to make you know what I'm saying the block is five times five this piece right here, five times five. The top, five times five, 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 five. You know, that's all that's to it. It ain't, it ain't hard. All you gotta do is just be patient and enjoy the process. Cause if you rushing, you gonna start making weak little pieces like how I got on here. I could have made this some, a little better quality, but you know what I'm saying? But let me know if y'all want me to explain any other engines I got, like like the inline two, this one right here. Let me know if I need to explain this one or the V4 or the V twin or just let me know in the comments. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Give y'all one more love view. I might add a little running video in here.